The first step is to get prepared by grabbing a screwdriver and a plastic bag. Next, you're going to want to turn over the keyboard and unscrew all the screws. If you have a flathead screwdriver, that will help tremendously in removing the keys from the keyboard if you don't have a keycap puller. I suggest you take a picture at this point if you are unfamiliar with the keyboard layout. Begin by gently prying the keys up from their position. Some may have a metal bracket underneath them. These are used for stabilizing the longer keys. Just remove them the same way as you would the key. Continue removing the keys and placing them in the bag until there are no more keys on the keyboard. There may be additional screws underneath the keys, so remove those if needed. Gently pry apart the bottom and top panels of the keyboard. Remove rubber membrane from keyboard, rinse in warm water, and lay flat on paper towel to air dry. Next, grab the bag of keys, pour a little bit of soap on them, and fill the bag with hot water until the keys are submerged. Shake the bag for a couple minutes to break apart the dirt. Then, dump the keys into a strainer and rinse with hot water. Be careful not to drop any keys into the sink. Now, dump the keys onto paper towel and lay them right side up to air dry. Next, grab the top panel of the keyboard, rinse it in hot water, spray it with soap and scrub until clean, and rinse again. Then, lay on paper towel and let air dry. After several hours when everything is dry, place the rubber membrane back on the keyboard, then screw together the top and bottom panels of the keyboard. When replacing the longer keys, insert the metal support bracket and lay it flat. Then insert the key and push firmly until it clips onto the bracket. Repeat this process until all keys are placed on keyboard. Finally, hook the keyboard up to a computer and ensure functionality of all keys.